Welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series. Last time we have discussed about the operators and today we will discuss the relational and logical operators in C. Relational operators are used to compare two or more values. There are six relational operators in C. These operators return true or false. So these operators are also known as a Boolean operators. In C, any non-zero value is treated as true and zero is treated as false. In C, if expression is value true, then returns one, otherwise returns zero. These operators are evaluated from left to right. To understand more, let's take an example. To understand the relational operator, let's start by printing the output of an expression 5 is greater than 2. As we have already discussed that this is a Boolean expression and it turns true and false. And we have discussed that true is treated as a 1 and false is treated as a 0. So here we print the output through the percent %t format specifier. Next to see the result, compile and run the program. As you see that the output is 1 because the expression 5 is greater than 2 returns true. Let's take one more expression to understand more. In this expression, we want to print the output of an expression 5 is greater than 3 is greater than 2. To view the output, compile and run the program. As you must have thought, the output should be 1. but here the output is 0. Let's see how it happens. In this expression, first 5 is greater than 3 is evaluated that is true. So it returns 1. And then the result of this expression that is 1 is again compared with 2 that is false. So it returns 0. Let's move to the logical operator. There are three logical operators in C. Not, and, or. AND or OR operators are used to combine two or more conditions. In C, every condition can be true or false. So what will be the output of multiple conditions combined by AND or OR? This is decided by the truth table. So what is the truth table? Truth table is the combination of conditions and their results. Here, the truth table of conditions and their result with the AND or OR operator are given. AND operator returns true if all conditions are true in the expression. And OR operator returns true if at least one condition is true in the expression. Don't worry about the NOT, it just reverses the input. Note that AND or OR operators are called the short circuit operator because AND operator returns false as soon as it finds one condition false and OR operator returns true as soon as it finds one condition true. Let's take some example for better understanding. Let's start the program by creating variable a, b, c, stored 5 in a, 6 in b and create an expression c equals to a is greater than 2 and b is greater than 3 and check the result by printing the value of a, B, C. Here you see that A is greater than 2 and B is greater than 3. So both conditions are true. So the output of this expression should be true that is stored into C. Let's check the output by compiling in the program. Here you see that the output of A is 5, B is 6 and C is 1 because true is treated as 1. Let's try the example by changing the AND with OR. In this expression, A is greater than 2 is true, so the output will be true and second condition will not be evaluated because of the short circuit behavior of OR operator that is, if one condition is true, then the final result would be true. So in this expression, the output should be 5, 6 and 1. Compile another program to check your output. Here the output is 5, 6 and 1. Let's add one more statement in which we want to print the output of an expression 
5 and 6. Here in this expression 5 and 6 both are the non-zero value and treated as a true. So the output should be true. Compile and run the program to check your output. As you see the output of this expression is 1. Let's move to the one more example. In this example first we create three variables a, b, c and store 5 in a, 6 in b and create an expression c is equals to a is greater than 2 or plus plus b and try to find the output by printing the value of a, b, c. Here in this expression a is greater than 2 is true so the output will be true because of the short circuit behavior of all and the expression plus plus b gets never executed so b will not be incremented and the output will be 5 6 and 1 compile and run the program check your output here you see that the output is 5 6 and 1 now move to the not operator. In this example, first we create two variables a and b. Store 5 in a and create an expression b is equals to not a is greater than 6 and print the output by using printf statement. In this expression, first not gets evaluated and Invert the value of a from 5 that is true to false that is 0 and then 0 is compared with 6 that returns false and is stored into b. So b will be 0. Compile and run the program to check your output. In the output as you see the value of a is 5 and value of b is 0. Now try the same program by enclosing the expression in the brackets. In this expression now first a is compared with 6 that returns false and not invert it to true. So the output of b should be 1. Now compile another program to check your output. Here as you see that the output of b is 1. Let's move to the comma operator. Comma operator has the lowest priority in c. It works from left to right and return the rightmost value. In C and C++, comma have two sense, first as a separator and second as an operator. Let's try with some example. In this program, we first create a variable a and store value 1, 2, 3. Now to check the output by printing the value of a. Compile and run the program to check your output. As you see in this program, the compilation error occurred. This error occurs because here comma work as a separator and a equal to 1 is created and then 2 and 3 is treated as a variable that is not allowed in C. To fix this error, let's separate the statement here and then again put the value 1, 2, 3 in the variable a. Now comma work as an operator. Compile and run the program to check the output and now you see that the output is 1. This happens because the equal operator has the higher priority than the comma. So equal works first and this expression is treated like this. So the output is 1 and 2 and 3 are rejected. Again to view the output that what happens if we enclose all these values in the bracket. In this situation, the comma operator returns the value 3. Compile and run the program to again check the output. Here, as you see, the output is 3 because comma returns the rightmost value. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will talk about the decision making in C. If you like this video and appreciate us, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.